Full fathom five, thy father lies, of his bones are coral made. Those are pearls that were his eyes, nothing of him that doth fade, but doth suffer a sea change into something rich and strange. Most people think of surfing as catching and riding a wave. But there is a man who thinks about it as a way of connecting with the ocean's energy. Like a seagull riding the displaced air above an ocean swell, or a dolphin gliding inside a breaking wave. To John McCarthy, that is real surfing. He has dedicated his life to this dance with nature. He rides all manner of surfboards on all manner of waves, the canvases and brush strokes ever changing. Nature is John's studio. He has nothing to show for this, bare a few reef cuts and scars. One day he realized the price he was asking nature to pay for his rides was too high. The irony that the tools of his trade were toxic constructions that could never biodegrade or be recycled, could no longer be ignored. So he went looking for answers. At first, he couldn't find them, but he persisted and eventually went right back to where it all began, to when surfing was the sport of kings, to the ancient Hawaiians and the beautiful simplicity of the alea, a mere carved piece of wood. It made him realize what was possible and started a revolution that overflowed into the shaping bays and glass houses he frequented. Hemp replaced fiberglass and Kefler. Flax became a great substitute for carbon. Recycled EPS foam, cork, silk and bamboo were suddenly topics of conversation in surfboard construction. He tested the boards. They went much better than he thought they would. No loss of performance at all. If anything, increased durability and strength. He made more and shared them with his friends. They, in turn, shared them with theirs. Collectively, they altered course, only a few degrees at first. But soon the change, born from the sea, became real. Now, for the first time since the Hawaiians put down their alayas, consumers have choice. John knows he can't solve all the problems. But he's doing what he can in his way. The conversations he has with his children are not the same ones he had with his parents. He is the sea change generation, and we can all learn something from that. <laughs>